Okay, this is going to be a small, well, maybe not so small, test and review. This is uh, a mini camera. The instructions are translated quite comically into English to blue light after the key is released, the completion of the boot, and into the TF card detection status. According to the different capacity card, the test take about two seconds then. So, I mean, you can, you can get it. It's like trying to talk to a, you know, two-year-old, but you can understand it. First, the camera itself. Here it is. Um, it's called a, an MD-80 clone. Um, this mode button puts it into uh, sound activation. You can have it, it'll be in standby. If it doesn't hear a sound for two minutes, it'll go into standby. As soon as it hears a sound registering over 60 or 65 decibels, it starts recording. Real simple operation. Power button on this one side. Long press it. Blue light comes on. Red light turns on and then shuts off. Blue light means it's on. No flashing red light or amber lights or anything like that means that it is in standby. Um, this is the record um, start stop button. Press it once. We get that long blink. That long blink means it is recording. It's a 720p and it is very zoomed in type shot. Um, it takes a micro SD card. Long press the power button again to shut it off. It takes a micro SD card right here in the slot. It's a click up and click down. Um, I've got an 8 gig type 4 or better you have to use otherwise it, it skips and lags. Um, when you want to use the really the only other function it has which is sound activation long press the power button to turn it on blue light red light one blink that means it's on. I'm gonna press the mode button one time and you're gonna see the red light on a fast blink and then I'm going to make enough noise to activate it, and you can see it go into a long blink. Now all i got to do is talk normal, like that, and it goes into long blink. It goes into record mode. That's really good if you set it up on your desk when you leave, and you want to see if somebody comes in. This is testing the sound sensor. Talking at a normal tone. Open the door like a normal person. And there it is. End of test. Uh, it charges via mini USB. Okay, just uh, everybody's got these laying around. Make sure it's a 500 milliamp, nothing higher. You will smoke the battery. These are all the accessories they gave me with it. Um, I had to buy an SD card, a micro SD. Most of your micro SDs come with this here adapter. That's to put it into your computer. I do an unboxing, however, it did not come in a box. So, my son helped me make one. See? Camera. Now I know this is a camera case. Thank you, my boy. So, uh, I'm going to use anyway, is this little clip. Okay? It does swivel. 100 and, well, 360 degrees, swivels all the way around. You just put in one side and then click in the other side and you're clicked in. There's another one with the same style bracket that clicks in. This one makes it go uh, vertical like that and it's got different screw holes and strap holes and stuff like that. You could zip tie it to just about any surface or use the the holes and screw it to just about any surface one of those um, and then this gizmo right here uh, this obviously you could put a sticky back on here like two-sided mounting tape you could put um, velcro you know either ends of velcro on there and look look this side is a magnet this one has a magnet in it a strong enough magnet to hold the camera 
to a metal surface like a fridge or a filing cabinet. This part here is for the clip to go to. So the clip can clip on to this. And the magnet should hold it. <laughs> the magnet should hold it in place. Okay? You can set your angle. Uh, this doesn't have complete freedom of movement, but it, it's got pretty good movement to it. But those okay, the reason I had to turn the camera off is because I had to get the, the cam this little camera out of that bracket over there. Um, this is really neat, and it comes in the accessory package you can buy for these things. And it is a waterproof case. Okay, it opens up like so, and the camera fits in. This really isn't as clumsy and awkward as it may seem. This is not an infomercial to sell something else. Okay, and it's got this little foam patty bit right here that fits snugly on the back of this. Okay. Um, the one thing with this though is you do have to turn it on before you put it in here. Uh, when you turn this camera on and just the blue light is on, that's in standby mode. It'll stay in standby mode for about a minute if you don't hit record. Um, so, But if you've got an 8 gig in there, you can record for, I think it's almost an hour before the battery dies or the, the card is full. There's no point getting anything bigger than an 8 gig for these, for this particular one, because by the time the card's full you have to charge the battery anyway and you may as well just download your files. So if you have it on and in standby and you stick it in this waterproof case, you can use this button up here which has a small o-ring inside and a spring right there and that'll activate the record and stop record button. Um, this gives it all new options and new capabilities as an action cam or like a like a poor man's GoPro. We'll call it the NoPro. <laughs> um, there's two slots in the back here that accommodate more accessories. These clips are just like regular nylon web belt clips of today and they uh, slide in either this way or this way and click in firmly. I'll show you on this one that is a clip for this. So this little clip uh, slides in like so either forward or backward uh, and allows it to be clipped. Now it, it is too heavy this way for this little magnet deal to work. Um, so the other option with these clippy doos is one of these. Um, and it accommodates this elastic with a buckle on the end of it. Okay, And it's not quite long enough to be comfortable on your head for any length of time, but that's what it's for. This is a silicone sleeve that also accommodates that elastic belt. You can strap it to your arm or your leg or whatever you want. I don't think there's any rules to it. It also comes with this uh, neck lanyard. Um, the downsides to this is, like I said, it's a very zoomed in angle, so it does okay as a dash cam. Okay, test two is a dash cam. Set up a little different. This time in my truck. I don't know what you can see. I'm not even sure I can see. But, what the hell. Got a weird vibration that affected the audio in uh, yesterday's dash cam test. Got a crap load of heavy, heavy, heavy snow here. And see. That's what I see. Can you see?
helmet cam or a motorcycle cam, something like that. Um, but the other thing is, is in this case, it's very secure in this waterproof case, but it it doesn't come out very easy, especially when you're trying to do it with one hand. There we go. I've dropped this camera a bunch of times on carpeted floors, even on the hardwood floor at my house, and it still works fine. See, there's the little loop for the lanyard, for the lanyard to go in. Okay. So, so there's there's the bulk of it. What what all you get? I got the camera by itself, um, and it came with this, this. Okay, it came with all this, and uh, it came with all that, and a charging cable, just a regular USB charging cable. No, uh, no wall plug. But I did have a wall plug around, and it does charge better off the wall than it does off the computer. All of this was about seven fifty with seven dollars and fifty cents US with free shipping from China and it took two weeks for me to get it. Um, this kit right here plus the strap um, this was a separate order and it was about seven or eight dollars with free shipping from China. Okay. Then I bought the 2 gig, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, 8 gig Type 4 micro SD card uh, from Radio Shack, and it was $9, okay? So, uh, so for the whole, set, you're looking at about $25 US. And I'll show you some footage uh, of this in use in just a moment. So, there it is, folks. Thanks for watching, guys. Shovel the sidewalk. See what we get. Seems to be pointing better. Level anyway. I'm gonna bend down a bit. It's just such a wide angle lens. Zoomed in, I should say. Wind from behind. <laughs> <laughs>